Edward, because you just can't help yourself. But I'm telling you now, you will not poach my son. <laughs> it's finally happened, Spencer. You've snapped. I knew you were up to something when you offered Maya and Ethan a million bucks to stay together, but I couldn't figure out what it was. And then it hit me. You want Ethan under your thumb. You've got plans for him. Partially to get back at me. <laughs> if there's one thing you don't lack, it's ego. Now, making you suffer may be Tracy's mission in life, but I have far more important things to do. Look, Siobhan, I appreciate you trying to help, but your plan won't hold water. You know, you're just too stubborn to admit that you need me to create a distraction at the bank. <sighs> okay, first of all, you and the the room service lady, you don't look enough alike anyway. Hmm. I don't agree. You're ten times prettier than she is. The Balkans men would never think mm. that she's you. Now, who's doing the distracting? All we have to do is go into the bank together. All I remember is that beret in my head. I wear it in. I slip it to Missy room service. She wears it out. The men who are watching us follow her. I'd like to see you come up with a better diversion than that. Um, we could leave if you want, because Sonny will be here any minute. So. Okay. He was, well, he offered to take me to that stupid party, and then yeah. <clears throat> Suzanne got, um, very dramatic about it, and she actually said the words organized crime in yeah. front of him, oh. so, you know, he may not be in, uh, the best of moods, if you know what I mean. All right. So, it was Suzanne who got dramatic. Not you. I mean, you, you, you just you stayed calm and cool and collected. Yeah, of course, like I always do. No, I, I know that about you. I mean, you're not a magnet for trouble at all. I mean, nothing mm -hmm. like that. You know, I feel so lucky to have you around just in case I, you know, get almost kidnapped or mm -hmm. break a stiletto. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm really trying to be modest about that, but that was pretty inspired what I did for you back there with the shoes. It was, actually. <laughs> I admit that it was. I'm gonna make it up to you. Copernican revolution was God. Oh, what? a seminal contribution to the ah, this is unforgivable the, the, the modern philosophical movement when the learned Mr. Kant first proposed the human mind as the originator of all experience you call this a, a, a sterile environment horse flies the size of parakeets assaulting the patients what's next what's next vultures Hovering over our carcasses? Mr. Hoffman, I, I don't see any flies. Of course you won't admit it. Remind me to check my oatmeal in the morning for suspicious-looking raisins. Where was I? Ah, oh, Kant, yes. He, he declared religion as the opiate of the masses. I believe that was Karl Marx. Ah, you're paying attention. <laughs> Perhaps that laser focus would be better served improving the unsanitary conditions around here. Nice to see you again, Mr. Hoffman. Ah, Dr. Fake. I trust you've already received your kickbacks from the insurance companies for refusing to find a single solitary thing wrong with me. <clears throat> Can I see you for a second? Yeah. Uh, excuse us. I thought I'd seen everything. There's nothing wrong with the guy. I checked him out myself. Why is he taking a room in the hospital? That would be Robin's decision. You're gonna have to ask her. You have no 
no fondness for Ethan. You've called him a thief, a freeloader, and worse. <laughs> Does that sound familiar? Exactly. You treat him with the same contempt you treat me, so it makes no sense that you're going to pay him to stay with Maya. What's the angle? You may as well tell me, because I'm on to you, Edward. Fine. Mary May. I've spent too much of my life living with regret for what my love for Mary May did to, to her family and, and to mine. I made mistakes, Luke. Not just with that lovely woman, but with our son, Bradley, and with his son, Justice. So you figured that you would ruin two more lives just so you can keep this winning streak going? Maya is my chance for redemption. And if you'd look closely, you'd see that she loves him. Although her choice of husband uh, is questionable in my mind, but I'll put my doubts aside in favor of Maya's ultimate happiness. Really? Since when? We just need the plan to work long enough to get into the safe deposit box. Get whatever Ronan puts there and get out. All right, and you're saying we'll work it in such a way that from a distance it looks like I'm passing the papers on to you. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I slip Missy room service my red beret. When she comes out of the bank, the Balkan slugs will, will follow her. That's when we take off in the opposite direction. Risking the life of an innocent woman. Do you plan on telling her that, oh. that hired killers are going to be chasing her? She'll walk down the block and remove the hat. They'll say that she's not me. Yeah, and then they'll shoot her. On a public street. And why waste precious time while we make her escape? They'll come back to find us, but we'll already be gone. I think you're insane. It's damn good, and you knew it. Unless you can think of something better. I wish I could. I have to say, I am slightly impressed on some disturbing level. It's not bad for an Irish waitress. You know, when I was a kid, my parents uh, ran this diner up in Canada, and I used to help them out and stuff. And one of, the, one of the things my dad used to tell me all the time was, the diner is something we do, but it's not who we are. And I hope to God that applies to you right now. You found me out. I did. I'm quite the schemer. But you are. Hope you can keep up with me. I don't think that's going to be a problem. thinking about <laughs> I was thinking that maybe I could help you build some sort of relationship with Sonny. I mean, I know it's not going to be easy, but I do think that Sonny's worth that. Okay, no, don't waste your time. Seriously, Sonny and I are not going to be playing catch in the park yeah, anytime soon. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about playing catch, but uh, you know, you guys could try to find just some sort of common ground and start there. Common ground? I'm, I'm a cop. He's a gangster. So you just made up your mind, just like that? Look, there's just, I don't know, there's, we hardly, we don't even know each other. We spent so much time not knowing each other. Now there's too many lies. I don't even know, I don't even know where to start You're from. You're definitely as stubborn as he is. <sighs> Look, I'd appreciate it if you just stop telling me how much like Sonny I am. Well, do you mind if I tell you that um, you two are both good men? And that you're both incredibly strong and passionate. Look, Sonny, Sonny leaves behind like uh, a lot of damage in his wake. He hurts a lot of people's lives. I don't, I don't want to picture that I could be that kind of person. I know Sonny has his flaws. I realize they're huge flaws, but you know he really loves you. He's your dad. You know, you only get one of those. Oh, wow. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, honey. Hey, am I interrupting? No. What? No, I was, I was just leaving. I'll uh, see you later. Yeah, thanks for everything. See ya. What's wrong with him? Uh, mm, he's okay. Have you never asked me for anything? Not yet. Look, you're my brother. I love you. But a 
woman like Abby, someone who's been around, isn't just hanging out with an 18-year-old so you'll buy her lattes. Well, you know this based off a two-minute conversation? I'm trying to make you see that you could be with someone better than no, Abby. No, you don't get it. I went to prison. I am massively messed up. No, That's... you're not. Okay. Allie still asks about you. Well, I heard her feelings when I ditched her party. It's not even point talking about that. I explained all that. Don't explain me to people. You're worrying about nothing. Abby and I are just friends. All we do is talk. What if she asks you for money to sleep with her? I say things to her I can't say to anyone else. She doesn't make me feel wrecked. She doesn't make me feel broken. And that's worth more to me than any money. We can talk. Yeah, I know that. You're my brother and my best friend. And I'd hate to see anyone use you. Okay, all right. You made your point. I don't want to have this conversation anymore. Fine. I'll see you at school tomorrow.